One of the most essential tools in defensive driving is what I call space cushion. The more time and space you have to react to a developing event or emergency, the more likely you can avoid becoming part of it. That's what a space cushion is designed to provide. A space cushion is a tool for avoiding hazards when other drivers act in unsafe or unexpected ways. Sometimes a space cushion is easy to maintain, but where any congestion or cross traffic occurs, maintaining it may take continual effort and adjustments. It takes vigilance to keep as much space cushion as possible. Areas where keeping a space cushion becomes difficult include commercial areas of towns, expressways, intersections, and controlled areas like school zones and construction zones. And in some areas, a space cushion may be impossible to maintain at all. But if you want to be better able to anticipate and respond to road conditions and events, you have to make an effort to keep your space cushion as clear as you can. Let's look at how a space cushion is created and maintained. One of the best ways to think of a space cushion is in terms of the six zones around your vehicle. In order of importance, they go something like this. First is your front zone, then the rear zone. Next comes the left and right front zones, and finally the left and right rear zones. A perfect space cushion means keeping all six zones empty. The trick is to be aware of what, if anything, is intruding or about to intrude in any of the six zones. That's what is meant in some defensive driving systems by the phrase, seeing the big picture. Remember, I said that all zones are not created equal. In order to create and maintain space cushion, you begin by looking ahead. The front zone has to be clear even if no other zone is. There's no room for misunderstanding here. The front zone provides you with good following distance. Unless the front zone is clear, you won't have enough time and space to anticipate a need to stop or maneuver. Remember your following distance, which should be at least three seconds when possible. That distance should be at least four to five seconds in poor driving conditions. The rear zone is usually of next greatest importance. Whatever is directly behind you is more likely to impact you than anything to your left or right. Next are the left front and right front areas. Under usual conditions, the left front requires attention first because that's the side of oncoming traffic and of passing vehicles. The left rear and right rear are of more or less equal importance. But as I mentioned before, since vehicles that pass are usually to your left, that zone starts off with a little higher priority. Each zone should be scanned regularly to determine which zones are clear, meaning it's free of objects, obstacles, or blockages. Blocked. Blocked can mean things like a stop sign or red light, as well as another vehicle, pedestrian, or road condition. And finally, a zone can be changing. Changing means it's clear now, but potential blockages are about to enter the zone. This could mean a vehicle or person is moving toward the zone, is close enough to enter the zone unexpectedly, or there's a yellow light. Keeping a space cushion begins by looking forward to scan for vehicles and their current movements. Anyone or anything else on or near your intended course and road conditions. Do this for three to four seconds. The scan continues by checking the left front zone, then front zone again, then right front, and finally the front zone again. After that, you can shift your attention to the three rear zones, each very briefly. You can continue scanning as long as all the zones are clear. When your scan finds a zone that's blocked or changing, pay more attention to it by checking it more often than the others. You may need to adjust your course in order to restore your space cushion.
When a zone is blocked or changing, there are three ways to restore it to a clear status. You can change speed, either by slowing or speeding up within the limits. You can change lanes or lane position. Or you can communicate with other road users. Changing speed most often means slowing down to keep the front zone clear and to reestablish good following distance. But it also might mean speeding up within the speed limit in order to clear a zone, like you might do when passing a semi tractor trailer. You can also change lanes or lane position to clear a zone. But do not change lanes or your position excessively over a short period of time. The final way to clear a zone is to communicate. What that means is to use acceptable ways to get the attention of others and then conveying what you intend to do to the other road users. Eye contact, hand signals, or verbal communication can be a good way to get someone's attention if it's done courteously. It also means keeping your behavior predictable. That helps tell other drivers what you might do. Keeping a space cushion and maintaining good following distance make driving less stressful and safer for both you and the other road users around you.